Do our sacrifices matter to God? 1 Samuel 7, 3-10 So Samuel said to all the Israelites, If you are returning to the Lord with all your hearts, then rid yourselves of the foreign gods and the Ashtoreths, and commit yourselves to the Lord and serve Him only, and He will deliver you out of the hand of the Philistines. So the Israelites put away their Baals and Ashtoreths, and serve the Lord only. Then Samuel said, Assemble all Israel at Mitzpah, and I will intercede with the Lord for you. When they had assembled at Mitzpah, they drew water and poured it out before the Lord. On that day they fasted, and there they confessed, We have sinned against the Lord. Now Samuel was serving as leader of Israel at Mitzpah. When the Philistines heard that Israel had assembled at Mitzpah, the rulers of the Philistines came up to attack them. When the Israelites heard of it, they were afraid because of the Philistines. They said to Samuel, Do not stop crying out to the Lord our God for us, that he may rescue us from the hand of the Philistines. Then Samuel took a suckling lamb and sacrificed it as a whole burnt offering to the Lord. He cried out to the Lord on Israel's behalf, and the Lord answered him. While Samuel was sacrificing the burnt offering, the Philistines drew near to engage Israel in battle. But that day the Lord thundered with loud thunder against the Philistines, and threw them in such a panic that they were routed before the Israelites. In verse 3, Samuel tells the Israelites to return to the Lord with their whole hearts. What good would it have been if the Israelites gave half a sacrifice, unwilling to surrender their sins? The Philistines would have overtaken them, the Philistines can represent the enemy of our souls. He wants to rob us of victory, being conquerors, wholeheartedly loving and obeying God. Why do we obey? Because God doesn't want us defeated by the enemy. Saul had a very different sacrifice. Samuel told him to wait till he came back. Saul got impatient and proceeded with his sacrifice. 1 Samuel 13, 5 through 14. Then the Philistines gathered together to fight with Israel 30,000 chariots and 6,000 horsemen and people as a sand which is on the seashore in multitude. And they came up and encamped in Michmash to the east of Beth Avon. When the men of Israel saw that they were in danger for the people were distressed. Then the people hid in caves, in thickets, in rocks, in holes, and in pits. And some of the Hebrews crossed over the Jordan to the land of Gad and Gilead. As for Saul, he was still in Gilgal, and all the people followed him trembling. Then he waited seven days, according to the time set by Samuel. But Samuel did not come to Gilgal, and the people were scattered from him. So Saul said, Bring a burnt offering and peace offerings here to me. And he offered the burnt offering. Now it happened, as soon as he had finished presenting the burnt offering, that Samuel came. And Saul went out to meet him, that he might greet him. And Samuel said, what have you done? Saul said, When I saw that the people were scattered from me, and that you did not come within the days appointed, and that the Philistines gathered together at Mishmash, then I said, The Philistines will now come down on me at Gilgal, and I have not made supplication to the Lord. Therefore I felt compelled, and offered a burnt offering. And Samuel said to Saul, You have done foolishly. You have not kept the commandment of the Lord your God, which he commanded you. 
For now the Lord would have established your kingdom over Israel forever, but now your kingdom shall not continue. The Lord has sought for himself a man after his own heart, and the Lord has commanded him to be commander over his people, because you have not kept what the Lord commanded you. With Samuel's sacrifice, the Israelites were willing to give up their idols and idolatries, return to the Lord with their whole hearts. With Saul's, he grew impatient, saw how the people had scattered and were trembling. He took matters into his own hands rather than wait on God. He was not willing to give his whole heart. Psalm 51, 16 through 17. For thou desirest not sacrifice, else I would give it. Thou delightest not in burnt offering. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and a contrite heart. O God, thou wilt not despise. What does David mean in saying a broken spirit? David is talking about surrender, humility, a repentful heart. It is placing our hearts on the altar and not holding back. God sees the heart of man. If we are holding on to idols in our hearts, we do not leave room for true worship for God. If we have stashed these idols within our souls, then our devotion is divided. What did God say to the Israelites when they were doing just that? Amos 5, 21-23 I hate I despise your feast days, and I will not smell in your solemn assemblies. Though ye offer me burnt offerings and your meat offerings, I will not accept them. Neither will I regard the peace offerings of your fat beasts. Take thou away from me the noise of thy songs, for I will not hear the melody of thy vials. We are to be a fragrant aroma, not only to God, but to others. 2 Corinthians 2, 15-16 For we are unto God a sweet Savior of Christ in them that are saved, and in them that are perish. To the one we are the Savior of death unto death, and to the other the Savior of life unto life. And who is sufficient for these things? So, does it matter what type of offering we are giving? Romans 12.1 I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. What idol is getting in the way of our hearts being fully devoted to him? Jeremiah 29.13 And ye shall seek me, and find me, when ye shall search for me with all your heart. What happens when we don't give God our whole heart? The enemy of our souls can creep in to deceive and take away our devotion to God. Our hearts will find their way drifting into dark waters where the Lord has not guided us to. It is not a trivial matter to withhold an idol in the corner of our souls and tell God we are wholly devoted to Him.